tide on day four. Uh, we're down here by ourselves, it's blowing an absolute gale, but there is a bit of white bait around. We've just been fishing in one little spot right here. Literally a five meter drag, there's just a little drop off. There's basically no current, so we don't move very fast. Um, it's tailed off a little bit now, but we were picking up a quarter of a pound lifts um, before. There's a lot of gutty bait in it, so we have to go through and sort that out later. Um, but it's tailed off now, we'll do a couple more drags and we might move back up to where the truck is, um, the same spot that we were fishing this morning and see how we go there. Dirty at night. Family's cleared off back to base. Um, I'm left here by myself. Just had a big wave come through. Um, again, doing the little uh, 10, 15 meter run I was doing this morning. Um, and pick up a good bait. Here's the last ball. So that's it for day four. We've done quite well. We've picked up quite a bit of white bait. Um, we've got a whole mess of it to take back to base and sort out now, sticks and stones. Um, but stay tuned and we'll figure out what we got. So we're back down at the river mouth in the morning of day five. Um, there's not too much current in the river. We're getting a dozen a time. So we've got about three dozen from three scoops. And if you're wondering what we got last night, 2.6 kilograms after it was all washed. So we're back down at the short spot, um, scooping, getting two, three, four dozen to go, so that's pretty good. Um, there's not too much current, but it doesn't seem to be worrying it too much at the moment. I suspect we've probably got another maybe hour or two at the most to go. You can see the sea is still rough, but to be fair it's been like that the whole time we've been here. That's 
sort of caught so far this morning. A lot cleaner than yesterday. <laughs> So that's it, I'm calling it. Um, straight after I said I was getting two or three dozen each scoop, I got nothing. Uh, then I got that one scoop with uh, sort of quarter to a half of a cup in it and then nothing again, so I think we're done. Um, the water's coming up river more than down. Um, it's probably time to head back to base, clean up and uh, pack up and head home. Another adventure concluded, a good one too. Um, we'll see what the final tally of bait is. Um, without the stuff I caught today, we're at 4.1 kilograms, so that's twice as much as last year, so real happy. Especially considering the weather, which was absolutely ratchet at the start of the, uh, start of the week. So um, we'll pack up and we might throw the drone up. Um, since it stopped raining, it really hasn't been great weather for droning. Um, it's been wind and bloody rain, but it's, uh, it's relatively still at the moment. It's just stopped raining, so we'll see if we can get a couple of aerial shots before we pack up. So today, in the first time in quite a few years, I caught a alva, a baby eel, which um, I've chucked in this bucket. And Zach's going to come and grab it and put it down in the creek across the lawn. So that's the 4.1 kilograms from the rest of the trip and we picked up another half a kilogram today. Wait a minute, you put him in the wrong river. He's supposed to be in the Okuru. That creek runs into the Harst. And if you're wondering about the Okuru mouth, the blowout was only shallow at the cutting, with a deeper mouth forming at the southern end of the lagoon. However, both were blocked again within a fortnight.